1970s, a man named Robert Randall, uh, who suffered from uh, glaucoma, sued the federal government uh, because they had conducted studies uh, showing that marijuana could relieve the pressure, the intraocular pressure in the eye. That is to say, they funded federally funded studies done at UCLA showed when you actually used a, a measuring device, the pressure in the eye would go down when you inhaled marijuana. He had discovered this himself and began to use it. He was a professor, I believe, at Rutgers University, and uh, one day he came back from a vacation and saw that he was under arrest or had to report to the police station. So he did more research and found out that the science was there, and he ended up suing in federal court and winning. And uh, the national headlines showed uh, a man who had won the right to use marijuana um, for glaucoma, and that's part of how uh, in the 70s we learned about this indication. Since that time, uh, we've begun to understand exactly what was going on in uh, Mr. Randall's eye and, and the eyes of the new, all the patients who have been able to find relief with marijuana. Uh, and it turns out that there's a, these two chambers, an anterior chamber and a posterior chamber in your eyeball, and they have a fluid back and forth. And uh, there's a, a, a mesh called a trabicular mesh that uh, kind of uh, gets tighter or loosens up and helps to increase the flow from the anterior to the posterior chamber. In glaucoma patients, that, uh, that is disrupted, that, that, uh, the flow, and it builds up and it causes increased pressure, which can damage the, the retina and the optic nerve. Turns out that there are chemical receptors called cannabinoid receptors that are on the nerves, that uh, are on the neurons that uh, you know help to regulate the strength of that trabicular mesh. And so, if you inhale marijuana, you get these cannabinoids in your body, and those cannabinoids can go all throughout the body into the bloodstream, and uh, they go through the ner uh, the artery called the ophthalmic artery, which is the artery that blood supplies blood to your eye, and they seep over there, and they touch that trabecular mesh, they bind to it, and they can help to uh, open it up a little bit and reduce the pressure. That's what's probably going on in glaucoma patients at a basic molecular level, and um, it turns out that they may need to use several times a day and a lot of ophthalmologists argue that there are other medicines that you can use with eye drops but really we have had done no development uh, somebody some doctors once wanted to develop cannabis based eye drops uh, and uh, they unfortunately was never brought to studies so um, suffice it to say we know in studies that cannabis can reduce the pressure in the eye uh, and a lot of glaucoma patients have discovered that and a lot of medical marijuana states allow patients with this diagnosis to use this under a doctor's supervision and, and allow them to, to be treated that way. But uh, we need to do more research to develop better methods of delivering it so it can, the effect can last longer. But for, for some patients who have uh, failed lots of treatments, this is the only thing that keeps them from, from going blind.